welcome to PC Gaming Tech Summary. I'm your host, Gamer. And today we talk about hope. Do I have hope? Does Microsoft want you to buy one of their new computers? Because there are so many bugs with Windows 11, including virtualization-based security, VBS, which is tanking gaming performance, the VBS has been temporarily turned off by default. But if you work for a government, you can count on this being turned on. And of course, your gaming performance being tanked. Which means, what? You have a work computer and now you have to buy a brand new Microsoft gaming computer. So Microsoft, you decided not to lock down people's gaming performance for now? Thank you very much. Very, very few of the Windows 11 promised so-called big features are actually included right now. There are disappearing buttons, the mail app side panel sometimes outright vanishing. You can't move the taskbar to the right or left side of the screen and shortcuts are missing, like not being able to launch Task Manager with a right click. The new Start menu is not very customizable. Do you not want us to use Task Manager and see what's going on? And what is it with opening up the Microsoft Store to more and more apps? Um, when security is the so-called main issue. More apps, more malware, more hackers. Perhaps the main issue is monopoly. I can't afford a computer programmer to operate Linux for me. Hello? lack of competition. What guarantee does Microsoft give that there won't be any more print nightmares? Okay? I personally had Windows break on me, Windows 10, when I did an update. And I could not open any programs. I could not open up any folders. I was able to roll it back and not update until I was forced to. So for several weeks, I didn't update it. I was forced to update it and whew, issue had been fixed. But that is frustrating. Okay. How do we know Windows 11 is going to be any better? It de de definitely doesn't sound like it at the moment. Um, also, I had another computer, right? I had a older AMD processor in it. It was a work computer. And a Windows update comes and boom, crash two, three times a day. I had to wait six months for Microsoft to fix that. They couldn't just roll that back and, you know, redo it, could they? No, 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 no. I had to wait six months of crashing Okay, how much productivity did that affect? Hello? So we want to know, what is the status of CPU approvals for Intel and AMD? Let's just take one of them, the 7700K. How often is it crashing using Windows 11? Let us know, give us some feedback. Let us know what's happening. We want the facts, Microsoft, not the cone of silence. Here's hoping to be continued.